All right, all the wires are hooked up, except for the oil sending unit. We got a reading on that, which is nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is uh, put the air box in. We're gonna power up the batteries. And we're gonna we're gonna test fire it. We're gonna see if we can uh, get some oil pressure. Okay, filter box goes in. You got three bolts, but we're only gonna use two because this one, this one's got nowhere to bolt into now. Okay, filter box. So this, this hose used to go in this channel here. We're going to ignore that. That's not going to happen now. Alright, we're on the home stretch. You know what that means. Success or failure is near. This reusable air filter, washable. Uh oh, knock that off. That's all cool. What the hell happened here? There we go. We're just going to turn it off right now. And here's your uh, yes, airflow sensor. Gotta get it in the right way. See that? That goes in there. That goes there. And this gets hooked up to the duct. It's kind of a funky, funky system of. rubber pieces and clamps and crap. Not my favorite. Now we're just going to loosen these just to see if we can make them happy. That's got a little tab on that one. I think that's it. Tight now. The wires are all hooked up. And we just got to make a connection between these two here. A little snip snip. I always cut these too short, so I'm an idiot. Let's cut it long this time. 
How about it? We'll cut it long. We'll go with the way down here. All right. Think I cut it long enough? Hell no. Why? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, so we get that part on. Get this part on. Well, may not be too short, but it sure looks like it. Always looks funny to me. But, you know, we'll take it. Alright, I think it's going to work. Let's check the oil real quick. Just in case. Just in case I'm a major F up. Down about a half. It's about what I expect. Said four and a half, right? Just down about a half. And we got just this little pipe here that we're not going to put in yet. Okay, you can see we got a reading. When we try to fire it up, we should get uh, zero. But you get infinite, infinite resistance, I think. Let's see what happens. There we go. We got oil pressure. It's awesome. It did sound shitty for a minute there. It's proof. We got oil pressure. Now we got to plug in the injector, or the, uh, we got to plug in the ignition coils. It almost seems like it ran without the ignition coils. I would never have expected that. I'll take a little, take a little this off here just like we did on the other one there we go a little bit more there more there more there okay we're all hooked up now We'll fire it up again. Let's see what it does.
Let me turn it back off. We don't want to use up all our luck all at once. All right, so there you go. That's how you test the oil pressure. Like of the woods. All right, this is a nerve-wracking experience. You always got to wonder if you, know, if you screwed anything up. Something smoking back here. It's making weird noise. You guys don't know. You don't know. You've never been there. I'm going to fire it up again. Try using up some more of our luck. Kind of smooth it out a little bit. Got some stuff burning off the back. Go underneath and look. I gotta tell you, it really looks okay. I feel pretty good about this. Thank you. 
Here's my new engine running in my Gray V5. It's all done. It's all hooked up. It's running in maintenance mode to bleed the air out of the coolant system. And uh, I still got it up on uh, up on jack stands. So I'm gonna get it off the jack stands. We're gonna wait until we get all the all the air purged out of the system, and then we're gonna take it for a test drive. But uh, made sure there was adequate oil pressure before I plugged in the ignition coils, and uh, it went it went great. Well, this is my Prius V. It's got a lot of miles on it, and I uh, replaced the engine. The Gen Four. This is a Gen 3 Prius, and I put a Gen 4 engine in it. It's my typical swap now. I do this, uh, I've done this twice now. So, we got the Gen 3 EGR cooler, the Gen 3 intake manifold, extended the wire for the temperature sensor. And uh, landed the ground wires on the on the engine here and here. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. So uh, you know what? Don't be afraid. Try it.